Okay, we're gonna work on this harness. Um, the loops I got were wrong. They're too long. Can I use them? Yeah, but if you use them next to the other ones, uh, they're just too long of a loop. And I got such a narrow harness. Um, did be good across the firewall if you're gonna run multiple wires, but that was a waste. So, um, I looked at some pictures. This bolt hole right here is for the ground wire that's come off the blower motor. This ground right here is supposed to go right here. And the harness is supposed to go from here up to here, out of this fucking lip. <laughs> come back down, go like this. Whoops. Go diagonal right across here and go to there. And it's supposed to be a loop here and I don't know some more loops here there and everywhere basically what I'm gonna do is I'm keeping it under the lip the way you see it right there I am gonna put a loop in here and then we're gonna figure out whoops how to reshape this side and then we're gonna go with an eyelet down over there but let's uh let's fish that out yeah big conversation on uh YouTube uh garage about air gap intakes there's a guy saying that they don't work I don't know like I said in my comment I know they work different on all different engines uh, here's, the, here's the problem that we suffer with we don't have 20 different intakes to choose from actually Edelbrock is working hand in hand with some AMC guys right now to give us more intakes but it's going to lean more towards the single plane like would be equivalent to like a Victor Jr. for EFI stuff uh, because we have one now that's for a fuel injecting setup that won't accept a carburetor and we have to make an adapter to put a carburetor on it and truthfully the manifold's working well but it eliminates the heat crossover the original torquer which makes a good bit of power on this engine the runners are hooked to the bottom and has a heat crossover and it gets really hot and causes all sorts of problems and the conversation is well you don't have the right gasket on there yeah you're correct you can let the intake manifold get 250 degrees put the right spacer on there and the carburetor won't be 250 degrees but when the air and fuel hits it it's hitting it at 250 degrees plus because of the crossover and that's fine on a winter day that's not good on a summer day so does this thing work i have no clue in the world if it works Okay, we say I need to do dyno testing and that's not real world. All I know is the fact that there's an air gap there keeps the runners suspended and cooler. And I have no exhaust crossover. So that's all we care about at this point. Um, so let's see if we can neaten this up just a little bit. I don't know if the store is open where I can go get these straps. Uh, yeah, it's one of those days. Okay. Okay, this is what we're working with. It's a piece of it's basically a metal strap with some rubber on it. We can't put it to go we can't put it back looking like this. We want it to look like that. Much, much better. So how do we get from here to here? I'll tell you exactly how we get there. Okay. We do this. Ah, sit down. Pull up a chair. Okay, look out into the whatever okay first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna separate this a little bit and you're gonna make this look like something very thin metal just go in there and just start flattening it out yeah can you hammer it out sure hit the airplanes a couple of blocks from here is a field a big field huge whole like uh undeveloped area and they have a section where they have to the model airplanes. Okay, so we got that flat. Now we gotta get the back one flat. And every once in a while, you come out here on a nice Saturday or Sunday, and I can see the planes from here. When they bring them up and do the nose dive down. So you got those two like that. Now you wanna get them lined up and together. I'm not really worried about the bottom just yet. 
So you line up the holes and you bring them to where they have to be. Now obviously they're not clean yet either. Not that later. They just pinch it tight. And those are straight enough to each other for now. Now you gotta make that look like that. It's hard to make a perfect circle because when they dip this, this is actually originally a tool dip. When they dip it in and pull it out, it settles. When this, I guess it settled like this and you got lumps. So you can make it only so around. So you take this like this and you just look for different implements of destruction. I'm starting to, I had another one out. This one's about the same size. You just work it in the hole. The metal's really, I know I'm up a little higher than the camera. The metal's really soft. And already you're starting to get a circle. And now, what I find is, is you get it to the best you can get it this way. And you come in with, uh, I don't know where I laid my stuff out. The world's biggest rubber mallet. So I can't seem to find my small one. And you can just take the high spots and you just give them like a little tap. And you, you work your way around real quick. And you'll make a circle. So for me to sit here and do it at table height's not going to happen. So we'll come back. Okay. Put one there. I'll put one there. And if you step back, they pretty much the same height. This is where the ground is supposed to go. I'm not putting it there. Because I've changed the way the wire goes. It goes behind here instead of up here. We will bring it to right there. And it will lay out just perfect. Maybe we'll stick it through the loop. Maybe we won't. But we got to... That'll be for the uh, wiper motor. So I'll do that all in one shot. That'll allow me to clean the front of the wiper motor area to make sure I got a good ground. I hate grounds the bodies. Unless you really clean the metal, there's, there's always issues. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna stick it there and rely on that. It's just not gonna do it. Uh, that will give me a problem. I don't know what those grounds do when I look into the schematic. I'm sure it's something to do with something <laughs> so I ain't worried about it um, yeah so that's basically where it's gonna be I need those loops but I think you're looking at roughly where the harness is gonna lay a little tweaking here and there a little bending of it say what you want that's snow I know the difference between raindrops and snow look at the way to hit the ground huh. It's like it's partly frozen. This morning the skies were blue. 